Hello friends, my name is Nick and today I just wanted to sit down, relax, and repot a couple of houseplants. I've been pretty quiet here on YouTube ever since I moved to this apartment and I wanted to address that of course, but I figured why not kill two birds with one stone and repot a couple of plants in the process. So the first plant I'm going to repot today is this Ripsalis Awaldiana. I have it up on the shelf, you can barely see it, but I had it in my old apartment in my bedroom. Uh, now it's up on the wall here in my living room by my whole bar dining area. That's where I'm sitting right now. And it's a part of that shelf and it looks great, but the terracotta pot's been kind of boring. You probably recall if you watched my uh, moving vlog, I think I featured that whole thing. It just looks kind of boring. You can't even see the saucer when it's sitting up uh, the way that the shelf is situated. So I figured I'd find a, a nice fancier planter. I have these two Brunning pottery planters that I'm a big fan of. Right here, I got both of these from pistolsnursery.com and I have this uh, l mostly unglazed one. The, the rim is dipped and then I have this white glazed one. But I feel like with the vibe that I have going on on that shelf, the white one would really stand out but the glaze would really fit in. And I feel like, I think I like the idea of it just kind of fitting in. I think the plants are the star of the show of the shelf. Uh, with nice planters to, of course, complement them. But yeah, I want the plants to shine. I'm noticing that there are some mealy bug on these like appendages. So I'm just gonna go grab a Q-tip covered in rubbing alcohol real quick before I get too knee deep. Alrighty, let's get rid of these bad boys. So as I mentioned, I have been pretty quiet here on YouTube. Earlier in the year, I was in a groove of uploading videos two or three times a week. I was doing my plan of the week segment that I really enjoy and I can't say that it's done for good, but once again, for the second time, I think I am gonna be taking a prolonged break from it, let's say. But I had not planned on this little, I don't wanna call it a pause, I'm still uploading videos. I'm just not uploading in the way that I used to and that's because, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, maybe you can't tell. I, I, I started to address, you, didn't, you don't have to watch the moving vlog videos that I did, but in those vlogs, I feel like I started to address after I had like moved in here that I was having some issues, <laughs> maintenance problems with the apartment. And those have uh, been exacerbated. I've had many more issues, the issues that I was dealing with that I talked about in that video, however many I did, I don't know how many I was willing to speak about, but it's just been not good. <laughs> it's been not a good experience. I've been not motivated to do my work because, you know, I haven't been happy about the place I live. And backing up, the apartment, it's a nice apartment. It's just, it's not taken care of. It hasn't been taken care of. Um, things like, I don't know if I mentioned this in my moving vlog videos, but uh, my hot water lasts like four minutes and uh, they have not fixed it. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an engineer, plumber, I don't know who deals with hot water heaters. I know in my heart of hearts, I just need a new water heater. But they're like, it's new. Have you ever heard of a faulty product, by the way? Uh, they're like, it's new, so it's not, it doesn't need to be replaced. So every two weeks, roughly, they've been sending a new person to come look at my water heater. This is just one issue, by the way, but a lot more issues than that. It's not just the water heater, that's the issue. But that has been uh, the most, uh, that one weighs on me because I haven't had a nice shower in two months now. And you're probably saying that I should be making a bigger deal about this. Um, I'm a Libra, I have a really hard time getting angry, <laughs> genuinely, uh, but I'm kind of like, I'm. I'm already having all these issues. I don't know how long I'm gonna be staying here. And I'm kind of like, the longer they take to deal with these issues, the more leverage I have if I wanna leave this place and attempt to keep my security deposit because there's other ways to get around, you know, losing a security deposit, uh, like subletting your apartment. This is not what we're gonna be talking about the whole video, by the way. <laughs> but uh, I can't in good faith sublet an apartment that is just, it's just above livable condition. Like, it fooled me. And these kind of issues that I've been having make me really wary personally about ever buying a home because originally I was like, you know, planning on that being a possible goal in the upcoming years. But um, 
the fact that I came in this apartment and thought it was perfect and was really like, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but just led in the wrong direction. And it's nothing against, like I genuinely don't think like the leasing agents knew like of the problems that were going on here. I feel like the people, I don't even know. I should just, I should just stop. I just don't know who's lived here in the past because I don't know if they've been just very uh, lackadaisical about getting issues fixed, but the amount of issues have had to be fixed where I'm just like, how do people live here prior? <laughs> anyway, like I said, makes me just a little wary about buying a home in the future, so I will be continuing to rent. I will not be renewing my lease here. Uh, who knows how long I will be staying here for. Uh, I don't, I just moved here and that was a nightmare of a process. So I don't plan on just packing up and moving in the next month or so. I'm trying to stick this out as long as possible because it really was a very stressful experience. And coming off of that also just had me feeling a lack of motivation. I'm not going to be spending a full month moving between apartments in the future, maybe two weeks maximum just to, you know, I need the time with all of these plants. Anyway, I'm still like coming off that and having all these issues and not having had like a good shower in two months and the other issues that I'm having, I'm having rodents. I don't feel like talking about all this, but mice problems and other sound issues, not for my neighbors, just building sounds, blah, 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 blah. It's just been not good. So that's why I've been really quiet. I am not gonna be stopping filming. Just expect me to be a little quiet probably until the holiday season is over. Let's put it that way. I might try to pump out some product or products. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I will be hopefully pumping out some videos, produ produced videos. They're not produced. Um, and I have a couple you know, contracts that I have to keep up with. So I absolutely will still be putting out content. Just maybe expect like for just the time being while I'm just getting myself back in the mental space where I need to be to produce the amount of content that I was before, just expect a little bit less. That's it. Uh, but today, I'm here to give it to you, albeit it's not very, uh, I don't know. You're not gonna learn very much today, let's put it that way. But I'm just really not in the headspace uh, for that right now. So we got this Ripsalis. This is really, really nice. I really wanna take, care. <sighs> Moving with 400 plants made me realize how much I don't want 400 plants. <laughs> like I like having a lot of plants in my home. I feel like in my future home, like in the far future, I could see myself having a really like decked out plant room slash like tiki bar style room because if you can't tell behind me with all the liquor that I've I'm a big fan of like mixology and making cocktails, and I have been for a very long time. In fact, way longer than I've been into houseplants. In fact, maybe longer than I'm le legally supposed to admit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's always been something I really enjoyed. Anyway, I could see myself having just like a crazy decked out plant room tiki bar situation that could just be amazing. And then I could have plants staged all throughout my home, like the way that you can't really see it. I don't know if it's even peeking on camera or not, but I have my staghorn fern just on the wall here and like a snake plant next to my bar cart, but I don't have a single plant on my bar cart. It's a dried flower bouquet. I guess I do technically have a stromanthi back there. Anyway, me three years ago would fill in every little blank space on this bar cart with a plant, maybe even me like a year and a half ago. <laughs> but I feel like I'm starting to just learn the magic of plant styling and I feel like if I was to start from scratch and bring in just like 100 to 150 just like really nice, well curated plants and call it a home, I feel like that could really be the vibe. I don't think I would have came to that realization, honestly, if I didn't move though because <laughs> I had to move all of these to realize how freaking many there were. Like we got a moving truck, like a regular size moving truck that was like recommended for a one bedroom apartment. And we fit like two thirds of my stuff in there. Granted, I have a little bit, I kind of stuffed my apartments to the gills. And that was just a nightmare. <laughs> it was a learning experience, let's put it that way. Also, sorry, I don't know if my microphone's picking up the construction going on outside, but um, I failed to realize that there's literally a building being built next door. And another reason why I haven't really been filming because some days I'm like kind of feeling motivated to film and then it's just like nonstop hammering and jackhammering and stuff. So yeah, it doesn't bother me. It just, you know, bothers me that I 
um, we'll have sounds going on in the background. Like, it doesn't bother me when I'm sitting in my apartment and the construction's going on. I just don't want to make a produced video that, or they're not really produced, like I said. <laughs> I don't want to make a video, a final product video that just is construction sounds going on. I doubt many of you care, but I'm just like kind of type A and that's just something that would uh, grind my gears, if you will. But that was not an issue I had when I was at my old apartment and I lived on like the 20th floor. So I feel like I've learned from my last apartment and the problems that I'm having with this apartment are just like the things that I've been facing, not like the construction in street towns or something I was expecting. I just wasn't expecting it to be, to get in the way of my work as much as it did. And I forget that's why I kind of moved to like the 20th floor in my old space. So let's just say we'll be, we'll, li we'll be living like up, maybe like around the 10th floor in our next space. I think that might be ideal because just for the work that I do. Also, the higher you are, the more light you have because the less obstructed things are. And I would have thought that, uh, <laughs> I don't want to complain about my apartment the whole time, but the windows are freaking dirty. They're not going to get cleaned ever. Uh, it's just something I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do it myself, and I can't get out there. It's too high off the ground. Anyway, let's talk about other stuff, because I will complain the whole time if I'm given an outlet to, and I just, I think I've done enough. Okay. Speaking of, you know, the whole... I just mentioned that I really like mixology and stuff and have been for a really long time. I've been taking this time... I need another plant. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna grab my hemigraphis that I need to repot because it dries out so fast. I still have it in this plastic nursery planter and when it dries, it just like completely wilts and it's a sexy plant. I got this from Steve's Leaves and you can still use code NICK2022. Is it NICK2022 or NICK22? It'll be on screen and you can save 22% on your next purchase from steezleys.com. I get a commission from that and that code will, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but if you've already used that code and you would like to use it again, I believe that in the new year, we'll be doing a new code for everybody to use once again. So stay tuned for that, um, unless there's another way to use the code again, I don't know, ask your friends. But anyway, I was just talking about something else, the mixology stuff and I got off. Topic. Anyway, we got to talk about plants too, but you know, just kind of sitting here yammering to my camera so you kind of know how it goes. I also, I'm using the soils from repotme.com. I use the classic and succulent, cactus and succulent classic mix for the rip salad, and I have a little bit left of this. I have a fresh bag too if I need it, but um, houseplant and tropical classic potting mix, and you can use code NICK or is it Nick 10? I'm really blanking on my discount codes today. Once again, we'll be on the screen uh, to save 10% on any potting mix. And if you click through the links that I have below, I'll get a commission, but only if you click through the links. Like if you use the code, it just, it doesn't give me commission. Anyway, uh, I've been really taking this time that I've been, I've been trying to get really creative in this time because I don't want to, if I'm not doing my work that I should be doing because I just haven't been feeling the motivation, you understand. A lot of you understand. I'm sure you've dealt with depression before. But I've been trying to use this as an outlet to try out other things so I'm not just like laying around all day <laughs> and doing nothing. So I've been getting like really creative in the kitchen with my cocktails. I've been buying like cocktail books and reading them, learning a bunch of new methods that I've never heard of before and making a bunch of different fruit syrups and just getting really creative. Um, the most recent book I got, I'll grab it because I would like to shout it out just because it's freaking amazing. It's just like a recipe book, but I've been reading it like a freaking novel. It's like this tiki cocktail book uh, by Shannon Mustafer. And this book is high class like very high class. Like I think some of the cocktails are a little beyond my palate. I made one last night and after I make it, I leave a note, a rating out of 10 and I just write a little note about it. And this one I said three out of 10, fun idea, but it tastes like an olive. I don't like olives. And there was no olive in it. It was, it had a Campari, it had papaya syrup that I made, some carrot juice that I fresh squeezed. Well, I didn't squeeze the carrots. I ran them through my juicer and fresh lime juice. Doesn't sound like it would taste like an olive, but it tasted like an olive. Anyway, that was really the only cocktail that disappointed me so far. I should not be bringing that up because this cocktail book is amazing. Highly recommend. Been learning a bunch of new methods and one thing I'm really excited to try out that I've never heard of before. And if you are also perhaps a cocktail enthusiast or just like 
drinking, I don't really love, <laughs> I don't dislike drinking, obviously alcohol is fun to drink, but I don't drink it to get drunk. I just like the art of making cocktails. I find it fascinating and it's like my, I, I like cooking and I like baking, but I feel like that's what I like the most. So that's like what I bring to the table, if you know what I mean. But so many in the cocktails in the book go through a method called fat washing, where you literally like combine oils, like with your, your liquors, and then you let it like infuse for just a little bit and then you freeze it so that you can separate the oil. I, I don't, I haven't done it yet and I bought like oils to do it. I'm very excited to try this project. Anyway, if that's something you're into, let me know, give me tips. I'm really fascinated by this stuff and I think it's incredible. Um, anyway, we got this Hemigraphis Rapanda, which this plant, like I freaking love it. Like I, it's just, a mess, first of all. It gives me like a vibe of like the false Aurelia. Is that what it is? I don't know, honestly. It's just something I got through Steve's leaves at some point and fell in love with. <laughs> it's got purple on the backside. It's been ridiculously easy to grow. The leaves are coming in a little bit more uh, leafier and like wider than they did when I got it. They were a little bit more uh, strand-like at first, but I don't mind it. I think it's still a mess. And it's probably just a lighting thing because you know, when I have as many plants as I do, I'm not necessarily known for giving them all the light that they require, but fortunately that's a lower light plant, so I have that living just a couple feet away from my east facing windows, and it's been so far so good. I think I'm gonna need some more soil. I'm just gonna go grab another bag. But how about this little idea I just had on my stroll to get the soil? Let me know. Like I said, I've been lacking motivation currently the motivation to like come up with ideas like I have like a couple of ideas of videos that I would like to do upcoming like I would like to do another episode of the uh, houseplant exhibition that I started right before I entered my whole moving phase and you know some other things if there's any old you know video topics that you would like me to rehash again I'm sure it's been a year or two for a lot of those topics let me know in the comments like I genuinely would love ideas and I want to make content, like genuinely I do. It's just been difficult in the mindset that I've been in. Like I said, I'm sure many people have been through situations like this themselves. Uh, I just am in a different situation where I work for myself and if I, I don't have to go to work if I don't want to, do you get what I mean? Like I, when I used to work other jobs, no matter how I was feeling, I had to show up, but I have the privilege of not being able to show up, but that really comes to bite me in the ass because then I'm not actually working and I'm not making as much money. So I need to keep up with my career to be very upfront with you. Uh, so please give me some ideas uh, if you have them. I would really, really appreciate it. Just trying to carefully jump this in. And we are approaching, I guess I do have a tip. You will learn something today. We are approaching the fall. Actually, you might already know this. We're, we're approaching, it is fall, what am I saying? We're approaching the fall. We're approaching the winter. <laughs> Maybe I'm learning something today. <laughs> anyway, uh, repotting plants this time of year uh, can be a choice, to put it nicely. Anything difficult I wouldn't be repotting this time of year, like prayer plants, like for example, I have a tenanthi that's been growing fantastically for me and I was literally considering, should I repot it in this video? I really would like to get it planted inside its planter, but at the same time it's doing really well and prayer plants specifically this time of year, uh, when the heat's starting to kick on, that's when our air is gonna dry out and that's when we're gonna face issues. So that Tenanthi might be looking sexy right now, but in a month or two, it might not be looking the same and that problem could be just uh, exacerbated by repotting it and stressing it out. So this Ripsalis I've had for years, it's living, it's like been living in the not brightest area for a long time now and I'm not worried about messing with it because it's just accustomed to my space. This Hemigraphis, personally, I think will be doing much better living in this planter instead of the planter that's been drying out in a lot. And it's looking freaking fabulous as well. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, but the only thing is that I put the planter hole in the front. I'm trying to be mindful about planting the planter hole in the back of the planter if it's visible, just to make it look more seamless. But it literally doesn't matter because I can just turn it and it'll start to reach towards the sun and problem solved. 
yeah, hopefully this will stay a little bit more moist. I'm not amending my soils today. At least, hmm. I'm like, the one that I want to do next, I probably should amend, but I'm not going to, honestly, because I'm feeling pretty lazy. So let's get this out of the way and go grab, I think, what's going to be the last plant we're going to repot today. This one definitely needs to be repotted before we go too deep into the winter because I need this to just not be in this plastic planter because it's just going to dry out so quickly with the heat because where this is situated, this is my... Philodendron billetier, by the way, also from stevesleaves.com. The way, the place that it's situated up above my cabinets is just in the vicinity of the heating vent, so I can imagine this is going to be drying out a little bit more quick. And from the water that was sitting in the saucer when I pulled this off, I know that's what's going on because the water's just going through. So it looks fantastic. Soil's pretty dry. Plant's very resilient. I highly recommend this philodendron. I'm shocked at how easy this has been to grow and how much of a statement it's making with its beautiful, large, elongated leaves and particularly the orange petioles. I think it's just really an excellent houseplant. I'm gonna move it down to the floor for a moment because I'm just uh, gotta, I, I just gotta kind of figure out what the hell I'm doing. I think we'll start by just adding some of our houseplant and tropical mix in here. Like I said, I should be amending this. It's in unglaze, that's why I'm like, it's fine. Also, the soil's amazing, so I'm really not concerned. I just like to, of course, go the extra mile, especially when I'm dealing with plants that might be a little bit more high ticket items, if you catch my drift. But I want this to stay on the moist side, but it also seems to really like being on the dry side. I'm just gonna do it. Caution to the wind. So let's get this out. Some philodendrons that, you know, might be a little bit more difficult. Maybe I would recommend waiting until the spring to repot them. This one has just been very easy. It's put off a couple leaves for me since I got it. Obviously the roots are very robust. So I just don't really have any qualms with moving it to some new, a new pair of pants. Get it settled in. It's a little higher than I would like it. I'm gonna remove some soil, throw it in this planter. Give us like roughly half an inch inside as if, you, as if it didn't just all fall forward. <laughs> Place this back in. Oh, and that looks amazing. So now I'm gonna do exactly what I just neglected to do last time. And I'm gonna turn this so that the hole is at the back, refraining from making jokes and filling up my planter. Once again, another, <laughs> didn't realize this was sponsored by Brunning Pottery today. It's not. But all the planters we used were from Brunning Pottery via Pistols Nursery. Excellent place to shop online for planters and plants. I just get a lot of my planters from them. As always, taking extra care to just gently push in with my thumb or index finger around the perimeter of the planter because that's where all the air bubbles are gonna form. It's a nice bank as I always do because you just you gotta show it who's boss somehow. Also, it really helps get rid of any extra air bubbles that might be there. And I think that's good. I think I need to get my soil over a little bit more this way. Fill in a couple gaps and we're good to go. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> I mean, I can only imagine. I'm seeing it from the back right now, but you're getting the, the full frontal view. And I really just love the way that this fill dungeon's been pulling forward towards my skylight, the way I have it up above my cabinets in my kitchen. It's honestly one of the first plants you see when you walk in my home too, the way that it is and the way that you walk into my home. You see the cabinets and all the plants up top and they really do just, invite you in and make it feel just very nice. So if I was to restart and only have 150 plants around my home, like I was saying, which is still a lot of plants. I feel like most people would be like, if I was to restart and have like 15, I'm like 150. Uh, this would definitely be one of the plants because it really just has such a presence in the home that I wasn't expecting until it joined my arsenal. So I think that's gonna do it for today's video. A little repotting, a little relaxing, a little chatting and addressing things. 
Uh, thank you for bearing with me. Like I said, not done. Just taking a little break. Get myself back in a place where I want to be doing this every freaking day. Uh, give me suggestions if you have any, like I said, as well. I really would appreciate that. That will get my motivation going. Um, give me something that I, I want to do, that I want to get out of bed, and the first thing I do is sit down and film this video. You know what I mean? I really want to feel that way again. So. Slowly but surely, if you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Philly Foliage. If you would like to support me, you can follow me on Patreon uh, for also even more houseplant content, although not as much as I used to, just like on YouTube. But still, if you'd like to support me, you can follow me on Patreon. And I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend.